Good morning, Mississippi Valley on the court Saturday night in a double header against the Tigers of Jackson State for blackout night. Right from jump, it's Devon Usher bearing the three pointer. The Devils are on the board first. Coming back down, Daryl Marshall hitting hot from three point land. Envious you up by four, six to two. Now let's see that defense. Usher with the steal. Matt Smith with the finish. Score all tied up at eight. Another great play on defense. Darius is Tomlin tipping it to Usher. He puts the exclamation point on the play. Usher finishing with 15 points on the night. Second only to Smith, who pitched in 16 in the Devils 90 to 71 loss against the Tigers. The ladies looking for a little revenge themselves. About a minute left in the first half. 37-30 JSU. Check out this ball movement. Christina Clemens to Aliyah Frank for the finish and one. The Valley is within five. Coming back from half, Valley stepping up their D. John C. Sanders steal. No look to Frank and Frank scores again. Sanders killing it on the steal. She racks up six of them in the contest. Now I found this pretty comical. JSU fast break. Refs call a foul on the Valley, but take another look. I'm thinking she did that all by herself. Not to worry, though. The Valley bounces right back. Olivia Kennedy nails the three-point bucket, and Mississippi Valley nails the win. Final score on the game, 78-64. to Coach Robinson talks a little about the adjustments they made at the half that helped them take the game. I uh, went in there and uh, told them they had to make a commitment to defense, and I think that they came in there and answered the bell. Uh, we, we, had, we held them to 36% shooting in the second half. I think our inside play from uh, Leah Frank, uh, Christina Clemens, and uh, Jazz Sanders helped us pull us through the second half. Frank with a game high 15 points and the Devilettes winning seven of their last eight games. Next two for the Valley are tonight as they welcome Grambling State to Itabena. Game start at 5:30 and 7:30. A couple more scores from the ladies on Saturday. Georgia rolling past the Rebels in Oxford. Final on the game 73 to 54. More of the same for the Bulldogs. They drop to South Carolina 58 to 43. Switching it up to football. Saturday was the Sunday was the second day of the NFL Combine. Quarterbacks, wideouts, running backs all out there showing off what they got. Although we haven't seen anyone from our Mississippi colleges, there are a few that have had quite an impressive day. Tavon Austin, wide receiver out of West Virginia, one of them, running a 4-3-4-40 and impressing everyone. Another name of mention, Marquise Goodwin. This guy ran a 4-2-7-40. Unbelievable. Tomorrow will bring a couple of Mississippi athletes as defensive lineman Josh Boyd out of Mississippi. Mississippi State and linebacker Jamie Collins out of Southern will perform. But the big day for us is Tuesday where it's showtime for Jonathan Banks. The DB out of Mississippi State we will also see DB Darius Slay. And last but not least, the Great American Race, otherwise known as the Daytona 500. The fence repaired after yesterday's horrific crash and fans packed the seats unfazed, ready for some action. Lap 33, Jimmy Johnson leading the race. Casey Kane gets turned sideways and we got a huge wreck. Kevin Harvick, Tony Stewart, everyone gets caught up in this thing. Now Greg Biffle forced to go around Danica Patrick exiting pit row and not happy about it. Take a listen. The grass. It'll be a long year if they're going to play like that. More efficient to go straight ahead than it is to try and turn and go. It's all right. Yeah, it'll be fine. She'll take care of herself. On the restart, Patrick leads the field to the line. First woman to lead a green flag lap at the Daytona 500. A little later, Trevor Bain bumps Brad Kaselski from the back. Kaselski spins out but is able to stay in the race. It's Carl Edwards who takes some pretty heavy damage. Final lap, Johnson out in front. But here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. making a late charge. The two Hendrick Motorsports teammates racing to the finish. It's Johnson who comes in for the win. Earnhardt Jr. second place. It is just awesome. There's no other way to describe it. Um, 400 starts. Every one of those starts with Lowe's and Hendrick Motorsports. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, got a little material left over. Um, to be the first to win the Gen 6 in a Gen 6 car, and, and that car is a Chevrolet, a Chevy SS. Uh, just a very, very proud moment. And just a strong race car. I feel like the speed our car had in it uh, allowed me to really have control of the race there late. 
and I felt like I was sitting on something all day um, and was just ready to ready to have some fun when it counted and, and it did. Race in the nationwide series in Phoenix at the Phoenix International Raceway flag drops at 3.30. That's going to do it for morning sports. Back to you.